This Kafusi has been rubbed out of Friday's blockbuster after failing to get his dangerous contact charge downgraded at the judiciary. The Dolphins enforcer will now sit on the sidelines for the next month and was clearly frustrated after the decision was handed down last night. Yeah, look, um, obviously pretty disappointed uh, with the verdict and um, you know, I thought we had a good grounds to, to fight the downgrade and um, I guess the panel didn't, didn't see it that way and uh, I just want to thank everyone for their time. And, um, yeah, let's we'll go from there. Felice, do you feel like you might be a bit of a victim of your reputation? Uh, not at all. Um, like I said, we had, um, I thought we had a, a good case to fight there, to, to, dig, uh, to downgrade it, and um, unfortunately it wasn't the case. So, um, yeah, it'll take some time for this to sink in, and um, yeah, we'll, we'll go from there. So I uh, appreciate all your time, and uh, Thank you. we'll get to it. It's time now for Teeing Off, brought to you by Taylor Maid, and it's going to be about the Confuci decision, yes. Kenzie. So here's your driver. Yeah, let's, 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 off. let's get the driver into these guys. Look, look, let me just point out there. Let's look at this, the, the two tackles that they used as, as, a, uh, as a precedent last night at, at the judiciary. My question to the NRL judiciary and the match review committee, who charged one tackle with a grade one, tackle, one tackle with a grade two, is if you spoke to the average layman in the street, how can you justify that one of those tackles is worth four weeks suspension and the other is worth no suspension and a small fine? There's no way you can justify the difference between those two tackles. It's four weeks and nothing. And in fact, for some, for some people who might know a little bit about rugby league, many of them could have argued that the one that got the lesser sentence was the one that was worse. So the one thing, and, and we talk about consistency, and I know it's a tough one, but when they're this far apart, as far as punishments and times that's got to be served, that does not sit with people. And the NRL, the one thing that they've worked out and they need to keep mindful of is that the inconsistencies and the disparity between the way some clubs are treated, some players are treated... It's got to be dealt with, and they've got they've got to be more transparent. They should be putting out findings today mm. about why the judiciary and why they accepted the fact that one of these was worth four weeks, mm. and one of them was only worth not even a sin bin, just a small fine. I think it's confusing to everyone. How did you guys see this? Look, there's, I'm with Kendrick. There's not a lot of difference in the two tackles, but what? has come back to haunt Felice Cafusi and Hoops, you asked him last night if it was his reputation. Well, in a way it has because he's had three offences in the last 12 months and that's why it's jumped from one week to four weeks. Mm. And that's counted against him majorly. And that comes back to your, do we change the system again and go, well, we're just going to take each case on its merit. That does not deserve four weeks. How is it different from that one? Speaking to a lot of retired champion players today around the game and they're all just shaking their heads. They're confused. The word joke was used repeatedly. Mm. Um, there's a fair degree of outrage. But to your point about the findings, they did actually release some detail to us last night behind their reasoning. The panel was satisfied that player Kafusi had a clear view of player Hastings at a time when all of the indications were that player Hastings was going to pass the ball. It was in those circumstances that the force applied to player Hastings, which in the opinion of the panel was substantial. The panel took the view, I'll cut through the jibber-jabber, basically they thought that the hit on Hastings had more force yeah. in it than the hit on Sewell. OK, Lee. and where their argument falls down, Hoops, though, is when Dale Finucan sat here last night mm -hmm. and he says when Jackson Hastings takes the ball, if he, and he said shows, but in the old you know, language, throws a dummy. If he throws a dummy, if, if, if Kafusi pulls out because he's got to give the benefit of the doubt that he's got to pass the ball and Hastings throws a dummy and goes through then his coach says to him after the game, mate, what the hell were you thinking? And every, every other NRL team puts that in their little video session when they play Hastings, so, mate, be careful of this. The fraction of the second required between getting the ball and going there and releasing from here to here and pulling it back is minuscule. Mm. And by that stage, the, attack, the tackle has already begun. It has already begun. And this, this constant protection we're now... So aware of, as far as the players taking the ball into the line, the halfbacks have got to start being a little bit responsible for themselves. If they've got to turn their back on a defender coming at them, then you're just going to wear the consequences. Because they don't even have to protect themselves in any way now. In any way. 
because the onus is on the on the tackler. If I'm sitting down there and I'm coaching Hastings, I'm show and go every week mm. because you can't hit him. You can't tackle him when he's that close to the line. I think most people agree four weeks is absurd uh, given that Kafusi was trying to pull out of that at the mm. uh, 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 at, Well, I actually at, found he did. The they said the force was greater hour, than the right? Sue Lee one. So the, the, the common theme around the game today was that people were shaking their heads. They're curious about it. I actually think where the Dolphins dropped the ball was they should have used the example of Adam Reynolds and Tarek Sims. Tarek Sims makes a very similar tackle in round 17 of last season mm. on Adam Reynolds. Here it is here. Watch this, right? Yeah. Now that only ended in a grade one with a fine. Yeah. So you tell me that that is less than what Kafusi did to Hastings, right? Now you can add the fact that it was his third offence, Kafusi. So yes, mm. that was also taken into consideration. Lovely, yeah. I still think a lot of people are shaking their heads well, about the decision. What I believe is that the Swali hit, they stuffed it up. They got it wrong. That should have been graded more heavily. He should have been suspended. Then we wouldn't be arguing over this. But are they going to admit that they got this wrong and this is more than a fine? Or Because no. they, they obviously wanted to stick to their guns last night, right? No, they they'll wanted... blame us for the outrage. It, 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 I've seen it clearly, but this, they've obviously got this completely wrong. And yes. they, didn't want, they, didn't want, they didn't want to go backwards, so they've stuck to their guns with the decision last night, but they need to admit that they stuffed up here with this Bra one. Braith, I, I don't know if they... Oh, well, I don't think they will, to be honest, but what, what the game, I think, needs at some point do now, whether it's Graham Annesley or whether it's uh, Andrew Abdo, they need to come out and they need to put some clarity back into what's grade one and what's grade two, mm. so there's no more... Uh, confusion about it. And secondly, they need to explain to us how halfbacks just don't go running to the line down to show and goes because the middle defenders or the edge defenders who are, mm. who are opposite them basically are afraid to tackle it out because they look at time on the sideline. I, I want to counteract their arguments around force because force means to me that Felice Kafusi had less time to pull out of that tackle than Sua Lee. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? He's gone all in, right? There, there's no doubt about that, that he's gone in at speed. Where, um, Sua Lee stopped, like, is basically stopped when Chances shown the ball, so oh, I, you're right. I can't see how they've got that one so wrong. Dale Finucan hit the nail on the head last yeah. night with the with the, you know, if Hastings throws a dummy there and Kafusi pulls out, he runs like that. This that's reality. That, that's, that's that's footy. that's Dale Finucan, one of the most that's, respected players in the game. He would do the same thing if he was Kafusi. That's he would have done the same thing. That's footy, and uh, sadly, it reveals the lack of footy mm. IQ in at headquarters at the moment. Yep.